With the holiday close at hand, we're all looking forward to the tradition of roast turkey and all its trimmings. This is the year of the handy turkey. You know, much easier to get out of the store and into the car and so forth. Part of the excitement of the holiday feast is watching the host carve his way through the turkey. To help make this a success at your home house, we're going to get some first-hand points today on how to carve from culinary export, Miss Martha Logan. She'll be talking to us on the phone direct from the kitchens of Swift and Company in Chicago. But first, let's look at this short film on, that will cover all the key points. The turkey should be placed so that the breast will be to the carver's left. With the tip of the knife, cut the strip of skin holding the legs in place. Now, press the drumstick outward with a fork or your left hand. Place the knife between the thigh and the body and slash through the skin to the joint. Keep that outward pressure constant while you're making this cut and the entire leg will separate from the body. The upper thigh joint will come out so that you can cut it free with your knife. That was easy, wasn't it? So is this next cut, separating the thigh from the drumstick. You make your first cut in the angle between the two. Just press the edge of your knife in until you feel the joint. Now for the breast. Take your fork, put it firmly into the wing, and press it away from the body. With your knife, make a long cut just above the wing joint, cutting in all the way to the bone. When that cut is made, the breast is ready for carving. Start about halfway up the breast and slice straight down toward that cut above the wing joint. When your knife reaches the cut, the slices will fall free. Each succeeding slice of white meat is started higher on the breast until the crest of the bone is reached. So there you are, and it looks very simple, doesn't it? Now let's talk to Miss Martha Logan directly from the kitchens of Swift & Company in Chicago. And how are you, Martha? I'm just fine, thank you. How are you? Well, it's a pleasure to talk to you in Chicago today. How's the weather there? Oh, it's kind of cold, and we have a few snow flurries. Well, um, we don't have the snow flurries, but it's a little chilly here. <laughs> now, I want to ask a few questions, Martha. All right. Is it good practice to start car carving the turkey as soon as you take it out of the oven? No, it's best to let the turkey rest, as we say, for about 15 to 20 minutes. Martha, do you think that... Um, the wife should always ask her husband to carve the turkey? Of course she should. <laughs> <laughs> Carving, you know, is a skill that's very easily acquired. Of course, a sharp knife and a long tying fork will help. And it also helps if the hostess puts the turkey on a large enough platter. That gives the host a little room to work in. I see. Now, my wife always asked me to do the carving, but I generally butcher it up quite well. But we don't manage to eat it just the same. So now, uh, let's have these first pictures that uh, you're going to describe. The first one is on the screen now. All right. This one shows the first step in carving a turkey, and that's removing the drumstick. You place the knife between the thigh and the body of the turkey and cut through the skin right down to the joint. Now, it separates the leg uh, from the body by pressing that leg outward with the knife during cutting and by bending the leg back away from the body with a fork or with your left hand. Now, the next picture shows the trick to slicing the white meat on the breast of the bird. Insert the fork firmly into the upper wing and press the wing away from the body. And with the knife, make a long cut just above the wing point, uh, joint right through to the body frame. And in this next, uh, next picture, you make the first slice. You begin halfway up the breast and slice downward with straight, even strokes. And when the knife reaches the cut that you made above the wing bone, the slice of white meat will fall free. And now this last picture shows how you continue to slice the white meat. You begin the next cut at a higher point each time and continue to slice the breast meat until uh, you reach the crest of the bone. And that's how easy it is to carve a turkey in just four simple steps. Martha, I know it sounds very simple, and I don't have too much trouble with the breast, but how about slicing the dark meat on the leg? Well, that's a simple matter, too. 
you can just uh, disjoint the thigh uh, from the drumstick and then uh, slice the dark meat right uh, on a separate plate, of course. Now I have a couple of basic questions, Martha, and the first one is, how do you know what size turkey to buy for your family? Well, there's a very simple guide to follow, and that is to allow one and a half pounds of the ready-to-stuff turkey and one and a half to two pounds of the already stuffed turkey per person. Then if you have a family of four, you don't need about a 10-pound bird. Do you have to account for the drift or the loss from bone? Oh, there's a uh, uh, small uh, loss, but <laughs> not too much. And uh, uh, this guide that I gave you, the one and a half pounds uh, of the ready to stuff turkey per person, that allows for plenty of nibbles and good second day dishes. Well, that's one of my problems, Martha, and that there's just two of us. And if I buy a 10 or 12 pound bird, I may have turkey for a week. Oh, well, uh, it's a good idea if you have a freezer to <laughs> freeze the uh, leftovers and then uh, wait for a week or two before you have some of those delicious second day dishes. Now, one other thing, Martha, how do you know when the turkey is done just right? Well, there are two tests that you can make. One is uh, the pinch test, as we call it. You cover your fingers with a paper towel and pinch the thickest portion of the drumstick. And the turkey is done if that meat feels very soft. Now, the other test is with the meat thermometer, which you insert into the thigh muscle next to the body cavity. This is the portion of the turkey that's last to cook done. And the temperature should read about 185 degrees for the turkey to be taken from the oven. Well, Martha, you've been very informed, and I want to thank you a million for being with me this afternoon. And I hope you have a very happy holiday. Well, thank you. And the same to you and all your viewers. And goodbye now, Martha. Uh, goodbye. Now, if you would like to learn how to carve a turkey correctly, call or write for a free copy. Turkey carving is a gentlemanly art, and it's yours free. All you do is dial Trinity 21141 or 872 immediately after the broadcast, and we will be happy to mail this to you, and it shows you the various steps to take in carving a turkey. It makes you a much better carver. I know it did me. This is a uh, complimentary of Swift & Company. To get your copy, be sure and dial Trinity 21141. Put your name and address on a card and address it to Turkey Carving, W-A-I-I, Atlanta, Georgia. Now, we'll go to the booth. This portion of your home show is sent your way with the good wishes of Atlanta Flooring Company, highlighting the Christmas floor show of gifts for the lady of the house. Men, stay tuned for a heart-to-heart -heart talk with Bill Cleveland. He has some terrific ideas that will keep the sparkle of Christmas alive in your home all year long.